I'm worried. To put it simply, I am worried. I believe every commander wants to do a good job. They want to be a fantastic leader. They want their soldiers to follow. It's supposed to be a second command, but it's my first command. You know, I really want to do a good job because I feel like all the pressure is mounting on me. And so one of the biggest things I, I think about is, first thing that comes to mind is, will my soldiers like me? If you think about it, is that even an important thing? Is it even important for my soldiers to like me? Or is it more important for them to respect me? It's, it's a tough call. It's a very, very, very tough call. It's not something that I can just easily think of off the top of my head. I want them to like me. I want to be cool, but my job isn't to be cool. My job is to be a leader. My job is, is to make sure that we are doing the correct things, right? If I'm at the helm, then I need to make sure I'm doing the right tasks, signing the right papers, just, you know, all around just being beneficial. The next thing that comes up is, am I making the right decisions? When it comes to policies and, and negotiations and really figuring out life, I just wanna make sure that I'm making the correct quality of life decisions for my, my NCOs, my recruiters, because morale is important, right? Let's cut straight to the point. Morale is very important in this line of work. If you don't like your job, then you know it's, it's not gonna do well for any of us. But I believe making the correct decision and keeping morale high is, is probably gonna be harder than most because you don't want to put in policies that make life too easy and then if they don't if you don't do something right if you don't make numbers then hey you know it's okay pat them on the back you know so it's like what things do I have to do what things do I don't have to do to make sure you know our company is successful another thing that I'm doing is like this is probably the biggest one and it should be number one but are the decisions I'm making benefiting my soldiers or my boss like, am I just trying to make a slide green and get the numbers high? Or am I doing something to benefit the soldiers? And and maybe it's one of those, they'll hate me now, but they'll love me later type things, you know? It's tough. It's, it's really tough. It's really, really tough. I'm trying to figure that out, racking my brain. You know, that's one thing that's that's on my mind. Is this benefiting the soldiers or is this benefiting the boss? And there's is there a middle ground that we can meet at some type of equilibrium? And then the last thing is, do I call my first sergeant? Do, do I call my XO? In this particular situation, my XO and my first sergeant have much more experience than me, right? Normally, if it was a regular unit, I'd have probably a lot more experience than my XO and my first sergeant. But this is such a unique position to where, like, I should know more than my XO, but I don't. He's been in recruiting longer than me. Typically, you're not going to know more than your first arm, but still, like, I want to be on par. But I'm not even close. Like, I'm not even close. All right, like, I have a background in sales, and I've been pretty good in sales. But this is, this is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is different. So it's, it's like, I'm trying to make the right decision, but is it really the right decision? And do I call my XO? Do I call my first arm? Like, in, on on every decision, right? Maybe eventually I'll, I'll have it down. Hopefully, within like the next first three four months but after that what are we doing like what are we what are we doing here you know like yeah you know, I, I just i get nervous like i don't want to call them and then i was like i'm dumb or something like oh this guy he's asking me questions why doesn't he know <laughs> he's been here for a month like <laughs> why doesn't he know this is a very humbling position this is a very humbling position. this is extremely humbling and like this is extremely humble and i didn't expect to be humbled this much but anyway, guys, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you guys hit me up on Snapchat at KLOP95 or Instagram at KIDTHNDR2. And like I always like to say at the end of all my videos, I'll live the same year 75, 80, 85, 90 times and then try and call to life. My name is Dom, aka KT2, and I'm out of here, guys.